that was Black Sabbath, Black Sabbath. Love it, right? What a great way to open. This is Rick Voltage from Webster Talk Radio, and this is about how people in our government and these morons, you fucking assholes, who support this bullshit, they are taking away our free speech, okay? You know, uh, Ozzy Osbourne, D. Snyder, and the late Larry Flint, the publisher of Hustler Magazine, and many others have gone to congressional hearings on the freedom of speech, the freedom of expression, you know, artistic freedom, and they all won. Why? Because it's our constitutional right, okay? However, everyone, and I mean everyone, has a fucking cell phone today, okay? And, uh, you know, people have small channels, big channels uh, on YouTube and so forth. And there are restrictions because they own the platform of what you can and what you cannot say. Now, my YouTube channel, I'm not monetized. And see, that's where they, that's where they get you by the balls, you know. I'll give you an example. I, you know, I'll, I'll give this kid a plug, okay. High Time Crimes. He's a kid, he's a little goofy. <laughs> But he tells a great story, and it's, it's, it's a crime story. But every word, you know, that has anything to do with crime or violence or anything is blotted out. And it's not even spelled. They'll have a, a fucked up spelling, so you know. You know, let me give you an example. Sexual, sexual assault. You can't say that, okay? You can't say sexual assault. It's a fucking word. It describes a terrible, despicable act, but it's a word. It's just a description. You're acting like the word is worse than the fucking... And rape. Oh, you can't say rape. You know? I mean, imagine a woman who's been raped, violated to the point where she, her whole life will never be the same again. Don't, don't say rape. It's a, it's a terrible, terrible word, okay? Stabbed, you can't say that. You're watching a fucking show about crime, right? <laughs> uh, pedophile. Oh, God forbid you say pedophile. I mean, it, it, it... Are you kidding me? The most despicable fucking person in this, on this earth is someone who harms children in that way. Just ask the ones who ended up in prison how they were, how it worked out for them. Fucking can't say pedophile. Drugs. This kid I was just talking about. Instead of saying drugs, he says we'll call it bugs. So you know they was they were smoking bugs or shooting bugs, shooting up bugs. <laughs> Are you fucking? Kid? You know it's like. In order to be monetized, you got to play by the guidelines of the channel, you know. So even though you have the freedom of speech, one time I was watching this thing, and it was a, uh, it was about what they what they're doing to farmers, and this was in the Midwest, and uh, for a hundred years, this farmer farmer and his family would herd their cattle down to a, I guess it's a it's a state or federal waterway. And the cows would drink. That's what, and all of a sudden, they couldn't do that no more. All the, the federal government says you can't do that anymore. And so other farmers were sticking up for him, them, and he started yelling at the cop, and the cop said, "Shut the fuck up!" Basically, and he said, "No, you know, it's freedom of speech." And the cop pointed across the street, and he said, "The freedom of speech zone is over there." I scratched my head and said, are you, what the fuck are you talking about? What, what happened? I'm 66 years old. What the fuck happened to our country? All right? You know, when I first started drinking, I was 18 years old. The drinking age was just lowered to 18. And the reason being, you know, it, uh, this was at the tail end of the, of, uh, the Vietnam War. 
if you're old enough to take a gun and shoot or be killed in a fucking war, you should be old enough to go into a bar and have a drink. Makes total sense to me, right? Of course, after the Vietnam War, they started you know, raising it back up to 21, which still doesn't make any sense because kids are going to fucking, you know, Afghanistan or whatever the fuck they're going to and they, they're getting killed over there. All right? Oh, suicide. Oh, God forbid you mention the word suicide. It's like, it, well, well, it's a fucking fact of life. Somebody gets sick of living, so that's what they do. Don't say that. It's a fucking no-no, all right? Uh, what, what else we got here? Uh, oh, the C word. See, I can't say that. I will lose my channel if I say that, you know. Uh, it means a virus of a certain man-made type, you know. Don't say that. Voting? Oh, <laughs> don't fucking go there. Especially if it has something to do with a 2020, you know, where all my life I believed that and I was told that every vote counts, right? Does it? Does it really? Oh, fucking believable. And the rebel flag. The rebel flag. Now, for you, a lot of you probably don't remember the show, but there was a show called Dukes of Hazard. It was a, it was a, it was a funny show. It was fun to watch. It was easy. You know, and they had Daisy Duke with her fucking... Well, they, they actually had shots that came out, a line called the... Day, you know, wearing your Daisy Dukes the girls would wear. She was hot. <laughs> and the car was a Dodge Charger, and it was red. And uh, on the roof of the car was the rebel flag. Well, they made them remove the rebel flag, you know. Why? I mean... What the fuck? These rednecks that live down south, they're proud of the fact that they're rednecks. And they're from the south. And that southern flag to them means that they're southern boys. That's it. I don't think there's one fucking redneck anywhere who thinks that flag has anything to do with slavery which was fucking, we fought a civil war over, all right, and they lost, and that was the end of slavery. What the fuck was that? Uh, Lincoln was president, so what, 1860 something? This is 2023, all right? Three of my grandchildren go out with black or Hispanic guys, all right? One of my nephews is married to a guy. I could give a fuck less what anybody... I never, I never cared what anybody did, you know? Just do it behind closed fucking doors, you know? I'm glad that homos can't be persecuted anymore, but keep it behind closed doors. I don't want to hear heterosexual fucking shit. There's enough, you know, they do whacked out fucking things too. Keep it behind closed doors and shut the fuck up. The N-word... Nigger. All right? The end. What are we, five? Like like when your kid first, you know... I remember this old woman came up to my daughter. She's in the car, in uh, that little car seat in the carriage that you push in the store. And she pinches her cheek, this little old lady. <laughs> and as she's walking away, my daughter goes, Fuck you. <laughs> I wanted to... You know... But, of course, and then you say, you know, you don't say the F word. Well, now, you, it's, it's not nigger anymore. It's, it's the N word. Like, it really fucking affects black guys. If you listen to any of them, they call each other a nigger about fucking 85,000 times a fucking second. I wouldn't advise any white guy, Asian guy, Hispanic guy, or any fucking other race to go up and call them a nigger. But it's a word. That's all it is. For Christ's sakes, the N word. Unfucking believable. And uh, African American. Don't you fucking people. You know, a lot of black people do see it now. They really do. And kudos to them. The Democrats were not in favor 
of the Civil fucking War. All right? They were on the wrong fucking side of history. If you do your fucking homework, you'll find that out. They did not want to abolish slavery, okay? They were all fucking for it. There was a lot of Klan's members that were fucking Democrats. All right? So, African American. It's fucking tarted. Okay? You're a black American. I'm a white American. They want to cause and have always wanted to cause division. Divide and conquer. That's what they're trying to fucking do. Okay? Okay? Uh, in the real world, they're having a hard time with the freedom of speech. But... On these platforms, they're fucking pulling it off, and it is annoying as a fuck to me. I can't stand it. A Native American. I, you know, it's okay that if you come from India, you know, they call you an Indian. They ain't a fucking Indian. I don't know what the fuck you call them, but they're not Indians. Um, Indians, when did, when did it become bad to call them Indians? I always thought of the Indians as being proud fucking people. Well, we played cowboys and Indians when I was a kid. Nobody ever minded being the Indians, you know? I mean, I thought, look, they fucking rode horses bareback, no saddles. They were excellent horse riders, could shoot a fucking arrow where other people, where we're shooting guns at them, they're shooting fucking arrows and are just as lethal as we are, all right? They say that, you know, the Western movies portrayed them as drunks. I never saw that, ever. And I was into Western movies. I mean, they did say, you know, selling whiskey to the Indians was, uh, you know, you, you could be hung for that or whatever. You know, so they, that was outlawed. But they never showed Indians as being drunk. Not in any fucking movie I ever saw. All right? They were proud people. The Apaches, the Navajo, Cheyenne, you know, you, you know, you name it. I always thought, <laughs> I thought Indians was so cool, you know. We have, a, in our town here, we have the Bartlett Indians. They were thinking of changing the fucking name after, I don't know, a hundred fucking years. The Washington Redskins. Is that a fucking... Is that wrong? You know, I don't know. Maybe Redskins might be a little too much, but Indians? You're not Native Americans. You are American Indians. And you, to me, you are a proud people, you know, with honor and dignity. God, what the fuck is this world coming to? You know, and like I said, the rebel flag... It only means that they're proud of their heritage. That the, the fucking shit about slavery went away with Lincoln in the 1600s, you know, 1660, whatever the fuck it was. But I don't think, like I said, you won't find one redneck today who likes the flag that, the Confederate flag, that uh, condones racism. For Christ's sakes. Like I said, I got three granddaughters that go with black or Hispanic kids. You know, I, you see a beautiful blonde today, she's usually walking down the street with a black guy. Get the fuck out of here. You know, one of the smartest fucking guys as an actor that I've ever seen, really, is Morgan Freeman, a black man. He was being interviewed one time and uh, the host said to him, well, how do you feel about, excuse me one second. How do you feel about uh, racism? And uh, do you still think that it, it hinders black people from, you know, making it? And he looked at him, he says, no, no, I don't. You do know who you're talking to, right? This guy has fucking... Uh, degrees from all these, you know, honorary degrees from all these different universities, and he's an established actor, one of the most well-spoken men out there, and I'm not just saying that, I am a true, and so is my wife, we are big fans of Morgan Freeman, 
and one of my favorite actors, of course I've got a lot of, well, no, I shouldn't say that. Back in the day when there was bona fide movie stars, you know, back in the day, you know, whether it be John Wayne or Kirk Douglas or any of these guys, today they're fly-by-night fucking, you know. But one of my favorite actors is uh, Samuel L. Jackson. The guy's fucking awesome, all right? Black guy. I'm not racist, okay? But saying the N-word, I refuse to fucking do. We're not five. We're grown-ups. The word is nigger. And unless you apply that word to someone who's black, whether it's a man, woman, or child, means nothing. It's a word. Same as sexual assault or suicide or rape or anything else. They're descriptive words of despicable acts. You know, we need to grow some fucking balls and stand up to these people because they are trying to take away our right to bear arms. They don't want us fucking armed. They don't want us to be able to protect ourselves. They want to defund the fucking police, you know. And uh, I don't think all cops are fucking great, but most of them pretty fucking brave, okay? Uh, you know, and they provide a service. Boy, I'll tell you. It's like, it's like uh, you know, people who don't believe in God, you know, or Jesus. You know, there's an old saying, you never see a more religious man than somebody laying on his deathbed. Well, it's the same thing. You know, you fucking hate cops until you fucking need one. Then you're glad they're there. So, so with that... I'm going to say, this is Rick Voltage from Officer Talk Radio. It's been great talking to you, but please grow some balls. See what these people are doing. There isn't the racism they claim is going on in America. For Christ's sakes, there's more interracial fucking relationships now than ever, all right? And, you know, I'm glad that people aren't persecuting homos anymore. But give it the fuck a rest, all right? You got your point. You can get married now, whatever. Now, keep it behind closed doors. Look, nobody had to tell me that Elton John was fucking gay, all right? He's, he's a fucking flamer like Liberace. But you can't deny his fucking, you know, his piano playing or his voice and, and, had one of, and has one of the greatest lyricists of all time, Bernie Tobin, you know, some great music, all right? What did surprise me, though, before I sign off here is I was surprised that uh, the father of the Brady Bunch was gay and he used to troll seedy neighborhoods for prostitutes, probably male prostitutes, probably for, you know, to keep it on the, on the down low, you know, but it wound up costing him his life with AIDS. And also Rock Hudson, a bona fide actor, a bona fide movie star, television actor. I would have never thought. And he ends up dying of AIDS. Well, you know, that's my rant for today. So um, I love you all. Subscribe to my channel because you never know what the fuck I'm going to say next. And uh, this is Rick Voltage from Upset Talk Radio. I love you. Peace out.